Hello and welcome to Scots United, where I, Scott, and my team of Scots, who are also me, bring you the latest in movies, television, and popular culture. This week we're talking about movies. Two movies to be exact. So let's jump over to Scott and see what he's itching to talk about. Fans of the show know that we love Glow. That kind of rhymed. It did. You know, the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling is on Netflix. The fourth season's supposed to happen. Who knows if they got it in the can before everything went to shit. However, reason I'm mentioning it, Betty Gilpin plays Liberty Bell. She's the star of this movie, The Hunt. Oh, right, where, like, the, uh, the, the uh, conservatives are uh, rounded up and hunted for sport like the most dangerous game by uh, the liberal elite or something like that, right? Yes, that one. Like I say, this is, this is a brisk film. You know, it's like an hour and 25 minutes. It, it, you digest it quickly. It's not much more than what you think it is, you know, from the synopsis, except that there's some, you know, twists of like, oh, where are, you know, what's going on exactly? Where are they? Who's on what side? So there's some fun twists there. Why I think it's worth mentioning is because, you know, the, the premise, um, you would think it would be very polarized. It would be like, this is the right side, this is the wrong side. And why I think it's actually pretty good and why it's fun and interesting, although gory and violent, but it's that it really makes fun of both sides. Well, that's always smart, you know. Give something balance that you expect won't have balance, I suppose. It certainly pokes fun at liberals in the way that they, they think they know best and they think they know everything and they, you know, that kind of, you know, the liberal elite. Um, and that's certainly juxtaposed with the idea of the, the deplorables that, you know, on the other side, uh, certainly the hero, Betty Gilpin's character, is on the deplorable side, but she may have some secrets up her sleeve. So I appreciate something like this because it is sort of trying to poke fun all around. It's not taking one side or the other. Um, it is really, in a way, making fun of the polarization itself, making fun of the way people separate and demonize the other side when really it's more complicated than that and people are people. And so if you want kind of a socially conscious action horror movie that is, you know, violent and intense but also has kind of a fun social commentary, then, you know, um, hey, not a bad choice. Plus, again, Betty Gilpin, it's pretty great. I mean, I love Betty Gilpin. Love to see her in more things. And you get double Oscar winner Hilary Swank as the main villain. Because what has she been up to? I don't know. But there she is. Hilary Swank? Two-time Oscar winner. Reason Annette Benning doesn't have an Oscar. Because she beat her both times. And she won. Uh, poor Annette Benning. Annette Benning, she's overdue, don't you think? Yeah. Remember when we did uh, Oscar Say What? Wow, even though, that's been a while since we did one of those. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, you know, The Hunt. You want something exciting? Something with a social commentary? Uh, something, you know, but still kind of smart and also kind of violent in that kind of horror way? Hey, The Hunt, not a bad option. Now, as for us, we saw Uncut Gems. <clears throat> Wasn't one that we got to during the Oscar push. Sandler wasn't nominated. And I will say this. I, I'm too excited about this. On the one hand... We talked about Good Time recently. We are a fan of the Safdie brothers that directed Good Time and also Uncut Gems. There is a pace. Talk about intense movies, right? I mean, that's the theme of, of this show right now. It's, you know, Uncut Gems is, is intense. It is paced. It'll get in there and just hold on as it's going because it's, it's, oof. Uh, you know, he plays a jeweler, uh, Adam Sandler does, who is just playing a bunch of angles and unintentionally swindling people as he's trying to bet and then cover those debts he has and it's just you you see him careening off a cliff not literally but you know in terms of how he's living his life and what he's doing and what dangers he's putting himself in it's thrilling it's unique and it's super worth watching do i think that adam sandler deserved an oscar nomination though i don't think so and people were like, oh my God, he should be nominated, he should win. I don't know. At the end, I was like, I loved this movie. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was, and Sandler's great in it. Did I think there was 
all these multiple levels that made me really want to like root for him to get nominated or to or to cheer you know the whole like he was robbed. No, I think it was solid and good. I think he's been solid and good in other things. I mean, I liked you know Punch Drunk Love. I liked Spanglish. But does that mean it's not worth watching? No, it is worth watching, and you should seek it out. Uncut Gems. So there you go, folks. Uh, there's two options for you. I want to say two as we wrap up here. It's been a crazy couple weeks. Important things are happening. Hopefully changes will come. So, you know, if you want to get out and protest, protest. If you want to make a homemade sign and stick it in your porch, you do that. If you want to donate. <clears throat> now... I have sort of among in this time I donated you know something in May I made a donation to uh to a different charity I made a, a charity this month in early June to uh Southern Poverty Law Center and I feel like uh you know what while all this is going on I'm going to look to a new charity every month and see where I can give because we can all do our part and that's all I'll leave you with for now We'll be back again soon with more, and uh, I'll see you then.